Hello and welcome to Taste of Success. I'm Hav and today I'm going to show you what to do with those late luscious fruits of late summer. That's blackberries. And I'm going to make you that classic combination of blackberry and apple cake. So firstly, these are the ingredients. There's the blackberries and apple, two eggs, 225 grams of self-raising flour and I've put some baking powder in there just about half a teaspoon and it's the same weight of sugar and butter at 175 grams and I'm using today I'm using uh, soft brown sugar for this recipe also on top of that just for the topping you need about 50 grams of demerara sugar. So firstly, we're going to combine all the dry ingredients and it's the crumbling um, method. So we've got the flour and the sugar and the baking powder and I'm going to add the butter to that mix. So when you've finished mixing it all up and it's, a, a, it's like a crumb mixture, Separate out about three, four tablespoons of the mixture separately and put it in with the demerara sugar. You can add a bit of cinnamon to that as well if you prefer, um, which is very nice. And I'm going to put some cinnamon in because my family like that. And that's going to be for the topping. So next, we're going to put the grated apple into the dry ingredients. And then I'm going to add the, sh uh, add the eggs. I'm just going to mix these together. Now you want to make sure you don't overmix. Anything with flour, you should always ensure you don't overmix or overwork the mixture. So we're going to do that. And just make sure that it's all combined. The flour with the apple and with the eggs. Now, as you can see, that's all mixed and it's a, a dropping consistency. It should look like that. Now for the exciting part, I'm gonna add about three quarters of 225 grams of blackberries. I'm gonna save a few just to put on the topping. Now be really careful with this because they are a delicate fruit and these ones are particularly luscious. So I'm going to just mix them very gently into the mixture, making sure you don't break the fruit up. So it's a very, very careful movement. A little bit of juice will come out into the mixture, so don't worry about that. That's inevitable to have. Right, I've just, um, I'm going to use the loaf tin, and you can use a different kind of tin if you like, um, but I like to use this so that I can see. So we're just going to, Pour that in. Ah, lovely. You can see all those blackberries and a bit of the juice marbling through it. Lovely. Okay, that only takes a moment. Just flatten it out so it's a nice flat base. And then just sprinkle the remaining blackberries on the top. Sprinkling demerara sugar and cinnamon on the top. There we go. Just be generous with it. This is a lovely crunchy top to it. Covering most of the blackberries doesn't matter if some of, the, some of the blackberries are poking out, that'll just make it look attractive. And there we go. It's all ready for the oven. Beautiful crunchy top. And this is the very favourite part where we get to eat it, the cake. 
and the proof is in the pudding as they say and I think if you have a look at this it's beautifully moist it's got a lovely crunchy top so um, I think you will really enjoy this cake. So if you need help with your promotional activities or events please contact us at info at tasteofsuccess.co.uk